Uh, you can go. Uh. Yeah, this is just a hero camp. I was supposed to be making my way up here, I guess. Inconspicuous crits. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I guess the little snots pick it up. Oh, why do I not have any food? Hmm. Yeah, that's just hungry, but you don't have any gobblers. Okay. The vile evil had destroyed another of the hero's camps. Screaming at the top of their voices, the survivors took to their heels. Hmm. I don't have any goblers. I guess they're getting they're getting eaten as soon as as soon as they can. Anyway. Uh yeah, we'll go here. Da -da -da. Oi, I have to protect the blueprints, Nukems. Otherwise, the orcs will eventually end up building some decent machinery here. Well then, keep your chin up, Toodles. Brynhild, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought your dwarves could easily handle a few orcs. Problems, brother mine? Oh, what a shame. I had actually already planned on making myself a tea set out of dwarf skulls. Talia, your evilness truly knows no bounds. These dwarves are part of the alliance. What's this? Of God. Portal. You were also once part of that alliance. I really don't know what this like what this story was. Oh well, I used to be part of the Alliance of Good, but now I'm not in the Alliance of Good. The path to the dwarves' oversized hammer lay open. The trembling heroes prepared themselves for the final battle. Release the allies. Your creatures have destroyed a cave. Your doesn't army has just decreased in size. This doesn't feel very tactical. against dwarves. Interesting. Well, that's what I should be buying loads of them, then. Back to the dungeons. Uh, you go in there. Oh, crap. Surely there's a better way of of organizing the armies. Supposed to be in a treasury, I guess. Um, the mission's almost over, so I'm not going to worry about those chickens. Ding dong! It's payday. I can't afford any more orcs. Okay. Uh, oh, there's no. Are there people in cages? Where's my select all button? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? 
go. Look, I'm not really sure, am I supposed to be playing tactically? I'm just saying, like, get them. Get the bombardiers. Get the mage. Alright, now destroy this thing. World class hammer. Because hmm. I think my my dungeon resets when I at the end of the mission basically. So I think the idea is you're supposed to be going from like sector to sector, building new dungeons. The dwarven equipment spectacularly went up in flames, which was rather odd, as the creatures had only been hitting the thing with their weapons. But fine, perhaps horde weapons were made of flint. Yet the distraction provided by the dwarven intervention had shifted the destruction-loving evil's focus long enough for Talia and her stepbrother Tristan to disappear into the distance. With an imaginary sigh, the staggering evil took one last look around before setting off in pursuit. The path led to the Hellwoods, an eerie place claimed by the demonic creatures of the underworld. Like I guess, so I guess we're the staggering evil. Kill ten heroes with traps. Okay, whatever. The, the hell was. Oh, Talia was taken ever deeper into the lands by. All right, let's see. Do I inherit my previous? Um, In the underground beneath the Hellwoods, Tanya's stepbrother Tristan was tampering with the remains of a dungeon long thought forgotten. But the demonic evil's henchmen were hard on his heels and were also slogging their way through the underground. Tristan had no choice but to retreat. My brothers! In your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the... Tristan, you good-for-nothing imbecile! Can't you just shut up for once, or finally come up with a different speech? That's so... Hey! Are those my armies of evil? <laughs> here! Get me out of here so I can personally kick my stepbrother's butt! Go ahead! Finish them off! Give it to them! Push a, a, a way past the expiry date cake right in their faces. <laughs> Never! The power of magic flows through me. A magic barrier will keep those creatures at bay. It seemed that Tristan did actually have some small knowledge of magic. His barrier was impenetrable to conventional attacks. Where magic was concerned, however, things looked just a little different. The spellbook perusing evil quickly set about tackling this problem underground. Uh... Before the mana craving evil could resort to magic, it would first have to take care of the demons. It made perfect sense okay. to have a vortex built to house demonic creatures. So I got yeah, I got a new a new layer which is kind of similar to these setup that it made me build in by default. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna finish it there. I might come back to this this mission because I do like these kind of games, but I think this is the problem I had with the other one is it's kind of very early on, it's a bit formulaic because they're just, they're trying to teach you all the different game mechanics. Um, and also, I don't know, there's not really much strategy to it. You just kind of, build what it wants you to build. It's like Theme Hospital, where they're like, hey, you need to, you just need to build the stuff. And you're like, okay then. And then you build it, and that's, it's it's fun. It is nice in a kind of like, oh, just, you know, I'll just click on this and do all this. Like, I can see me, this would be a good game that I would just like play to relax, um, like on the Xbox or something like that where I don't like, I'm not looking for a big challenge. I'm just looking to chill out and 
and get some mining done and all that kind of stuff. Um, I might come back. Uh, I might even record when I come back. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, or I might move on to something else because I know there's some other cool games coming to Game Pass in the future. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Dungeons 4. Please hit subscribe as well as that bell button so you can see when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you all in a bit.